Crazy Biker here. Today we're doing a water pump on a 95 Sierra. Pop the hood. All right, second step. After you pop the hood, you're gonna take out these bolts for the fan shroud. There's one here, one here, there's one here, here, and here. Yeah. Let's see if I can show you right down there. Hey. <coughs> Cool. I forgot about this bolt here <laughs> and I forgot about this bolt down there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's in the same spot. Okay, so next step, you're going to want to take off the fan because at this point the belt is still on and it's going to hold the fan in one spot so you can actually take them out. Unfortunately, you do have to do this with a wrench. So, whatever. Careful not to dent the rad like I almost did there. It's a good idea to put a sheet of cardboard over the rad. Okay, before you take this off, if it's your first time and you're not confident, I highly suggest writing out a diagram on a piece of paper for yourself to know that where everything goes. All right, I'm going to take this bolt or this bolt, this bolt preferably. I'm going to put a 15 mil wrench on this and then pull this way. And this is what it's going to look like. Maybe a 16. Okay, 16 mil. Okay, I'm going to try to do this so you can see. Pull on it. The belt will get loose, you slide it off the pulley, let go of the wrench. Perfect. Now your belt comes right off. So does your pulley. This is your water pump pulley. You're gonna have to bolt that onto the new water pump. It goes in between the fan and the water pump. Unfortunately, the studs are in this water pump, so we're gonna have to use some sort of trick to get them out. Because I don't have new studs for this new water pump. Anyways, all right, I think this is the heater core outlet, and it's gonna have these two tabs here. They're kind of rotten on mine, so I'm gonna try to push them in from here. Oh, look, we're leaking right away. I gotta put a drain pan down. Been leaking. The backside worked. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the water pump out and maybe it'll come out when I got the water pump all loose. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the clamp for the lower rad hose now. I like channel locks for this. It seems to be the best tool. Put it on the clamp, squeeze, come on. Oh, I got it a little bit off, so I'm gonna take the pliers and adjust them to the next setting. Make it a little skinnier, because now I got a skinnier spot to grab. There we go, right pinched. I'm gonna put it up on the pump because it's fighting me. Cool. Is your clip? I don't know if your clip's even fully up. Is it? Yes. All the way around, even on the back side? I'll work the camera and see it. Yeah. There you go. Yo, can you uh, go down and catch it? Move it My to hand? the move it to the right. How's that? Sip it. It's uh, just get rid of it. It's yeah. interesting? Well, it's getting fucking splashed by now. Yeah. Holy shit. It's everywhere. I'm not gonna be able to catch all of it. Oh, whatever. You guys spilk it? Oh, no! <laughs> I know. I can't get that. <laughs> well, it's this thing's in the fucking way. Oh my god. I don't know. 
We're gonna stop. Then that's all we can ask. How to coolant change. <laughs> yeah. How to clean your floors. <laughs> Okay, so this is your water pump. There's one spot that meets the engine block. There's the other spot. Four bolts hold this on, so let's get them. Okay, so there's a bit of a metric, there's a bit of imperial on this vehicle. The bolts for the water pump are 916s. Get my impact for those. All right, here's number one. Not strong enough. Try a setting two. Awesome, there's one water pump bolt. They're all the same length. I got it. Essentially, it's two clips. You just push the bolt in on the top and it should come out. You just kind of shake it lightly, take it out. nuts on a stud and tighten them together so you can use the bottom nut to undo the stud from the flange. Okay, so this is the outlet. Are right, you going to take a razor blade? Okay. Clean it off. All right, once you got it to that point, uh, preferably you want emery cloth, which is, this is aluminum sandpaper, and you can get strips like this at the auto parts store. Okay, so I got my brake cleaner here. It's from uh, Superstore. Not advertising, just any brake cleaner will do. I mean, this is non-chlorinated. I don't know the difference between all of them, so just Keep that in mind. Just look for the cheapest one. This stuff is like miracle fluid. Just don't use it on rubber because it breaks it down. Soak your egg a little bit. It evaporates faster than anything. You get in there, right down the surfaces, right where the water pump's gonna mate with the engine. So that it's got a perfectly flat mating surface. I forgot to film taking this part out of the pump in the first place. But it's pretty easy to get out. Put it in as tight as it was. So here I'm tightening two nuts together on the studs so that I can use a ratchet to do it up. Colts fucking cigars. All right, now we're gonna place the water pump in. Uh, I like to take a socket, put it on the bolt so I can hold it, put it in. I'm gonna put some uh, silicone on the back side of the uh, gasket. Hold on. All right, for the first bolt, or even two bolts, if you have two sockets, put the bolt through, hold it with the socket. But just like this, uh, easier to put in. Don't forget about the heater cord tube. Um, if you don't put it in right away, uh, before you put the water pump and bolt it in, then it's Right. So there's this fitting for your heater core right here. Don't forget about that. All right, cool. Once you got everything back together, your rad cap comes off a quarter turn. Push it down as hard as you can. Comes another quarter turn and it pops off. And you're putting it back on. Push it down as hard as you can. Quarter turn. It'll pop back up. 
and then you push it down really hard. Does another chord to Example. turn, and it's good. Chord to turn, it's good. Chord to turn, it's good. Chord to turn, Chord to turn, pops back up. Then push it back down. Another chord to turn, and it's good. All right, I completely forgot to film bleeding the cooling system, putting on the serpentine belt. So um, I'll explain that you need Dex Cool coolant, and you just keep filling the rad until it's at operating temperature, and then just keep slowly filling the rad, and then close the cap. Make sure you do that last quarter turn.